We first participated in Space Apps in 2014 when I was five years old. And I was eight. We had so much fun that we participated in the last seven years and became global winners. Space Apps challenged us to develop new skills and be creative. Every year, we build new things. Robots, rovers, Canada arms, and machine learning algorithms. We learned to put ideas into practice and present them in only 48 hours. I think this, like, these hackathons in general teach you a lot about, you know, you, you learn a lot about problem solving. And of course, like, uh, a specific topic in, in our case was uh, floods and flood response. So it was really, really great for us because we, we, had, we had some experience with these types of uh, problems and solving stuff in really limited time. But this was different. This was like, a, a, this was out of our uh, comfort zone. The most valuable thing about participating in a space apps COVID-19 was to be challenged to envision in a short time schedule a specific interdisciplinary solution that could explore and explode the vast datasets and tools offered by the spatial agencies and private companies that sponsored this event. What was most important to me in the Space Apps experience are the connections made during and after the event, as they proved to be fundamental to the whole process of building and presenting our idea. Yeah, I learned a lot about, um, well obviously I learned a lot about um, the actual challenge and so we had to do quite a bit of research into, you know, the challenges between communications between Earth and Mars, um, but I think also um, just learned a lot about the value in creating a prototype really quickly and then being able to share that with others. Um, I think it's it's something we can take with us into our work. Um, you know, we can create prototypes quickly, share them with our visitors, get feedback, and if it doesn't work, we can start all over again <laughs> and try something <laughs> else. We have approached to our local authority, Department of Science and Technology and Disaster Management Authority to implement this project for the benefit of people and to save the critical infrastructure. So we actually had plans because uh, one of the NASA engineers contacted us and he was really interested in the project and he said it could really help him and uh, we are still waiting an answer because we are uh, on, in talks with him like how can you proceed but the talks are really slow so uh, we hope that uh, we could uh, proceed with this. We are working to develop our project and validate it. We set up a 3D model of an idea. We are in contact with professionals in specific areas who can help us and we aim to make a prototype as soon as possible. Our project SoSquad was born on the Hackathon weekend and has been propelled since then. We decide to continue developing the community support agriculture web app solution that links family farmers with local consumers based on the actual food production and demand. We monitor the crop status by using satellite images on the Eurodata Cube environment. It starts from identifying and performing investigating the potential users and beneficiaries and redefining our solutions value proposition. Then defining the initial proposal to specific local conditions in the Colombian and Latin American food security and agriculture reality, and also establishing the business model that allows us to reach a more specific prototype modular solution that includes applications and web applications to consider the journey of food from farmers to the customer's plates. The mass scales use space data and data from our sensors to measure the changes happening during the COVID-19 lockdown and turn them into a musical. I expanded this project to include underground data from seismic stations. 
I can now measure real-time reduction in human movement during the COVID-19 lockdowns. I created an app, MonitorMyLockdown.com, that policymakers can use to measure the effectiveness of their lockdowns. My app was featured on national TV and on national newspapers. We are expanding this to countries in Asia and Africa so they can better manage the future pandemics. I would simply like to see this project impacted to the world being responsible for cleaning all microplastics in the oceans. Our primary goal is to provide a platform that can be free access by family farmers and local consumers to offer and demand fresh local food based on their location and harvesting time. Different impacts and outputs are expected out of this solution, like for instance by answering what, when and where products are about to be available or harvest and demand can turn any food shortage crisis into a opportunity to establish new win-win relationships and fair trade between consumers and farmers. I think we're really trying to, you know, the team is very keen to actually get this built in real life. So, you know, we're trying to do a bit behind the scenes to, you know, get that happening. Um, and then, yeah, I think it's just been a great confidence boost for everyone. So, yeah, it just makes you feel like um, we've got, you know, for me personally, I've got lots of ideas and it just makes you think, oh, I should really just get them on paper and start doing it. We are really glad we 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 spent this uh, this weekend uh, working on on this project. So you know that's that's also like a positive feedback on on what you're doing day to day that comes back to you, you know, in a really positive way. So yeah, it has a, a tremendous impact on us. Um, you know, the the thing that it's really positive is that uh, really prestigious agencies have looked at it and they said hey this is interesting so that's that's a really great uh, feeling <laughs>
mentors, and trainers. We gave a workshop at Space Apps Las Vegas and Space Apps Toronto. We talked about how to pick the best challenge, hardwares and softwares to use, and how to present your idea to the judges. I became a mentor in the Youth Space Apps Toronto. It was very fun guiding other youths through their project making and giving them presentation tips. This year, I became a judge at NASA Space Apps Las Vegas. It was fun to listen to presentations from other groups, give feedback, and score their presentations. We will be back for NASA Space Apps 2021.